What's up guys, Gary with self.dev. I'm gonna make an HTML, CSS course for you guys, and then maybe eventually a JavaScript course, maybe a React course, maybe some other stuff down the road. But right now we're just gonna focus on HTML and CSS. I am not a big fan of the courses that are like just big four, five, six, seven, eight hour long videos. I am more of a fan of bite-sized content where it's like a five to 10 minute video and then maybe an exercise, maybe a project. That way I can say, all right, finish that video, finish that video, finish that exercise, finish that video. And it just makes me feel like I'm making more progress when stuff is laid out like that versus the big extended long videos. Kind of gamifies it more and makes it more fun. So that's the way the course is gonna be laid out. I don't have all of the videos recorded yet, so I'm gonna release at least one per week on Mondays at 11 o'clock central time. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon down below so you can be notified when those come out. I'll probably do more than just one per week, but at a minimum, I'm gonna get one a week for you guys. Um, so yeah, the videos are gonna be little five to 10 minute bite-sized chunks of content. At the end of most of the videos, I will have a little exercise for you to do. It won't be too hard. HTML and CSS are not that bad as, in terms of coding languages, learning coding languages. So the exercises shouldn't be too, too hard after we go through the little tutorial in the video. And then every once in a while, I will also give you a project to build as well. Over the past year, I have been building monthly projects for aspiring developers. I've got 12 now. I need to update this because it does not have all the projects and some of these have been updated to look way better. But I'm a big fan of project-based learning. That's where you basically get a project and you build it on your own locally. Watching tutorials on YouTube can help learn the syntax, which is basically the grammar of the language and like what the language can do, but you don't actually get it drilled down into your head and remember it until you start building stuff on your own. It's kind of like riding a bike. You can watch YouTube uh, videos on how to ride a bike all day long and they'll say like, hey, these are the handlebars, these are the pedals, you gotta pedal. But until you actually get on a bike in real life, you're not going to know how to ride a bike. And it's the same thing with code. Until you start building stuff on your own, you're not gonna know how to do this. You might think you know how to do this, but it's like homework in math class. In math class, you're like, yeah, I get that, I can totally do this. And then you get the homework and you're at home and you're like, I have no idea how to do this. Same thing. So I'm gonna give you a lot of projects to work on throughout this course and a lot of exercises at the end of most of the videos. Now, one of the big things with being a web developer is you're not, you're basically a, critical thinker slash problem solver. A lot of the time you're gonna get tasks that you don't know how to do. Not a lot of the time, but like some of the time you're gonna get tasks you don't know how to do because you just haven't learned that yet or it's just some new technology and you can't say, hey, I don't know that, I can't do this. You have to get the task, look at it, say, all right, how can I implement this? How can I get this done? And you have to use Google, figure it out and just get it done. In some of the exercises, you're not gonna know what to do. You're gonna get stuck. Same thing with some of the projects. Uh, we've got a Discord, so you're welcome to come join the Discord and ask questions in there. But also I want you to try and figure it out on your own. Try and just sit there, think about it for a little bit. Think about what you've learned in the video. Um, spend at least 10 minutes trying to figure out how to do it on your own. If you can't figure it out within 10 minutes, hop on Google, Google a little bit, and then come to the Discord and ask questions too. I'm not just gonna hold your hand and baby step you through this whole thing because that doesn't teach you how to be a web developer. That teaches you how to go through a video in an entertaining fashion where it's pretty easy, but you don't know how to become, be a web developer at the end of that. So the exercises for this video. This one, we're gonna keep it pretty simple. We're just gonna download some of the software we need for the course. The first one is Visual Studio Code. It is a text editor. This is where you're gonna write all of your code. This is hands down the best text editor out there. So if you don't have it, go install it right now. It is code.visualstudio.com. I will have links to the software we need to download in the description. This is by Microsoft. They finally are almost kind of redeeming themselves from how bad Internet Explorer was. Not quite, but they're getting there. And the other one is Git. Git is a version control system, so you can basically build a project, save it, make some changes, save that, make some more changes, save that. And then if you ever say, hey, wait, I wanna go back to that first version I have, you can go back to that first version. Now that's a really simplified explanation and it does a lot more than that, but that'll su suffice for now. Again, these links are gonna be in the description. So first challenge, go install these softwares. You shouldn't have to change anything in the installations. Just click next, 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 install, and you should be good to go. Now, one other thing with Visual Studio Code, once you get that installed, 
it should look similar to this. You'll probably have a different start page that comes up and no file opened. But the big thing is we need to install the extensions we need. So you're gonna go to this column over here, click on the four squares. Yours actually will probably be on the left side. I have mine customized and organized a little different, but as long as we have the extensions the same, we'll be good to go. And then I'm gonna have a list of extensions in the description you need to install. Just search for it right here. Like one of them has, what is it, colorizer? Yeah, bracket pair colorizer. And then you will click install. There will be a green install button here. Just click that, that'll install the extension. And just make sure you have those extensions installed before the next video. If you need any help or have any questions, again, try to think about it, try to solve it on your own. If you can't, Google it. If you can't get it with Google, come to the Discord. Discord is basically a giant chat room. I've got a lot of people who are aspiring web developers or current web developers in there. And just ask your question and we'll help you out. We'll help you figure it out. I think that's about it for this video. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified when the next video comes out in this series. And I will see you next time. Peace. Round one.